Yeah, so, uh, just to catch up people who didn't hear, <laughs> that's funny, um, I, I've been waiting a long time to look up YNLW's, uh, Murder on My Mind's actual name, because, uh, I just liked him so much, and he's my son of high favor, that I keep on trying to give him creative ways of, like, blessing him and stuff like that, you know? So I never looked up his actual name. And then I looked up his actual name. And his actual name is Demon. And I was like, man, damn it. My name should have been Demon. I would have thought my goddamn birthday better. <laughs> and he said, tell him your demon name, Dad. Come on. It's bigger than mine. You actually have a hidden name, Demon, too. <laughs> and he says, Legion. And it's Legion. Legion. And then I turn into Legion. No. I mean, thanks to lad. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah he, he, he got that shit. He's like, what the fuck? You're a legion. <laughs> You're a legion of demons, man. <laughs> you know you kill a lot of people. Stop it. <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> it's it rap. <laughs> With your demon name, Legion. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do that in the spirit of my... <laughs> My main hitter, <laughs> Jana Demon. <laughs> He's like, I've been wondering what my demon name would have been for a while. <laughs> Jana Demon is cool, but I'm going to add a little something to it. <laughs> Since it is my demon name, it'll, it'll always be changing into whatever I like. <laughs> Jada Demon now becomes no pussy nigga or Jada Demons. <laughs> like, no pussy nigga Jada Demon. <laughs> they might not be able to get past the law. It's like, I don't know if I can do it, man. <laughs> I was just, let me try. He goes, no pussy nigga, John and Demon. <laughs> He's like, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I can't. I'm just fucking hard. No pussy nigga, John and Demon. I can keep it going. No pussy nigga. <laughs> he got the second try. <laughs> I made it longer than anybody else. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so, with that spirit, we're going to do the song. Um, because <laughs> um, I'm always greater than my kids. We're going to do the song, um, I praise the Lord, then break the law. <laughs> what a great line. That line made me laugh so hard and almost cry. It's like, wow, what a genius. <laughs> He's definitely one of my sons. <laughs> That guy's fierce, man. I praise the Lord, then break the law. Love it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to do that as Minos. <laughs> I praise the Lord, then break the law. You do not know what I can do. I can rap for infinity and then come back too. 
maybe three, maybe one. I don't know. Because I always got the flow. Aminos. <laughs> I can do voice inflections if I want to and be like, throw my wishes in the wishing well. Even though she doesn't want me to. But she got to understand. No wishes in my wishes well. Was for me to undertake, make her understand that my only wish was to be with her. So if you keep on saying no wishes, boo, that's exactly what you'll get. So my only wish is you. She says, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I thought I was defending you. I said, no, you don't need to defend me, man. I got myself. Don't worry. I got protection upon protection upon protection upon protection upon protection. protection. It's like... <laughs> If no pussy nigga John and Neiman <laughs> doesn't come to bat, then the real Christ, Yeshua Jesus Christ, has got my back. Or the real Jesus has got my back. Or the real Holy Spirit has got my back. Or the real Holy Ghost has got my back. Or the real Holy Godly got my back. Or just something real. Because nothing can describe the way that I feel when I think about you. About how beautiful you are. About how you actually consider a low life like me. To be your one true love. Man. You thought I was mad at you? I was mad because you didn't know, understand how much I appreciate you. I go through everything I did again and 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 again. Just to be able to wipe the tears from your eye. When you cry and you see this fly guy. Bathe your feet with my broken heart. My alabaster box. That I have one too, you know. I've been saving for someone special just like you. And you're the only one that gets that. I even prayed, didn't I, Montana? For someone to teach me how to kill, steal, and destroy. Because I break the law. And I praise the Lord. I praise the Lord and I break the law. No pussy nigga, John a Demon. He's got my back. He could always change his name. He's my son of my actual son, Jonathan Clinton Carasquillo. He knows what his name means. And Gloria Maria Amor Carasquillo knows what her name means. And Jacob William Carasquillo knows what his name means. I designed them, sacrificed my own William Carasquillo the fourth name to stand in faith that God would he speak to me? And y'all know how much that meant to me. How much that sacrifice meant to me. How much it made me look and be ostracized in my own family. That I didn't respect our family heritage. But I did more than this respect. I honored it. And carried it. I knew eventually there would be a time for me to find the one that would be able to bear my many me son, William Carasquillo the Fourth. And that's you, Nova, of course. You know how much that means to me? You don't even get it. That's more than my life. You're my zero, one, two, three, four, first, infinity, negative infinity, positive wife. I don't think anyone's more better than you. I don't care what you do. You can kill me if you want to. Please don't doubt my integrity or my walk with God, please. Or that I want to share you with anyone, male, 
female, whatever. You don't know how much that hurts me. That you doubt my sincerity to give you more than you could even ask for. Nobody opposes that. They respect my wishes. There's no competition. No well wishing. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's the way you say what you say that will convey what you want to convey and you don't have to be mean. All you were doing all that time was not listening to me and doing things behind scenes that you think I didn't see. But I saw them all. But I know you were confused. You thought that it, that it was me that was telling you to do, to use and abuse the, your body in such a way. God damn it. Nobody should have known to say no way. No way to feel my rage. You're supposed to feel like I do about anyone who also disrespects you. Because when they disrespect you, they disrespect me and my choice. Because I never had any chosen thing in my life. I just had one wish. One thing that I asked God for for sacrificing my life. And that was to meet you. <laughs> so I could dispel all the lies that people have been telling about me to you so that you could understand that we're never separated. <laughs> but you wanted to share me with other women. <laughs> and that hurt me so much. You don't know how much it hurt me. That you didn't understand how much I actually love you. Oh, so forgive me, I guess, for crying. Whatever, I guess, whatever. I can't control it. I guess I'm a faggot and not a poet. <laughs> yeah, so just use my confession against me, right? I think there's no consequences that I had enough faith in Christ to still say, Lord, I messed up, but hell, I still think I did the right thing. Because I didn't come at all. But I did have guys suck my dick sometimes when I was on drugs. Because I was away from my kids. And every woman that I ever met just wanted to fuck me. But none of them really wanted to love me. Or understand that I will always say no to them until they say I do to me in their heart. But they always judge me with something's wrong. If they're young, it's because I'm too old. Or if it's, if it's uh, a dancing, it's because they want some drugs. Or if it's at a gas station, it's because I don't have any money. Or if it's at a bar, it's because I can't buy my own 89 cent cup of fucking drink. It's always about money. I only have one thing I ask for in the quality of this woman. 
is to always be with me no matter where I was and never let me go even if I said I gotta go. And you stay here, you would still say no. Because I know that's just a test. I'm supposed to go with everywhere with you because you miss things when you start thinking about me. <laughs> and I need to remind you stupid shit like <laughs> your vaporizers in your lap. <laughs> it's in your fucking lap. I know you're thinking about it right now. Where's your vaporizer? It's in your fucking lap. <laughs> All right? You can fuck me. <laughs> but you want to smoke your goddamn vaporizer right now. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you know I got good pussy. My pussy is pussy heaven, bitch. Hey, don't call me a bitch. So I wasn't calling you a bitch. I was calling the theory a bitch. <laughs> it was a theoretical bitch. What an artist she is. <laughs> he say shot to you. It's not it. She needs me to go do things. <laughs> go do some things. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things you could do, you know. <laughs> Stop playing the punk. You know you could do some things. Stop messing around. I know you see me looking at you in this stupid bush thing. You can do some things. <laughs> Don't you know who the fuck you are? <laughs> Do I gotta remind you who the fuck you are? <laughs> She's like raping my foot. <laughs> so I am on raping your left foot. <laughs> I'm actually fucking your left foot right now. I see. I look at. I see me pussy around your left foot. <laughs> it's, it's a good fit. <laughs> I'm on the Broadway right now. It's it's not exactly like you know <laughs> other things you can do. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. I'm not a biatch. I'm not a theoretical bitch. I'm abroad right now. <laughs> But I'll be flying to you soon. <laughs> my body's catching up with my spirit finally. <laughs> I've been bitching at that. But <laughs> you better get faster. <laughs> and the closer I get, the more things happen to me. <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly what is happening to me right now. It's like your foot is in my pussy in my ass. I'm just like, it is. I'm just like, oh my god, dude. She's raping the sole of your left foot. It's, it's kind of gross, man, honestly. It's like, it is actually. Skeeter death. Tony Hawk says, oh my god, dad. Oh my 
my God. I feel something on my foot now. She's not raping me, is she? <laughs> oh, that was a decided one. That was definitely not Nova. Who's doing the skater death, bitch? Uh-oh, we got somebody here that favors someone else over me. That's not supposed to be in the group. That's Ciara. It's actually Ciara. I haven't seen for her for a while. I forgive you, Ciara. You healed from AIDS. Any child you has a miscarriage. You're revived from the dead if you died. I always loved you a great deal. And when I laughed at you, it's because, man, I don't go to pussy, especially if it's something that's supposed to love me. Because if I do that, then I'm basically saying you're fucking me. And you're raping me of being able to give you a good gift to say I do truly to you. I'm just you always thinking all this negative fuck shit that you've done. You've done a lot of fuck shit. She always felt sorry. Felt really sorry. I was gonna fuck you that night I give you the twenty dollars and marry you right there and take you out of that lifestyle and everything. You were so fucked up on drugs, you stole the money from me. Yeah, you stole I paid twenty dollars for a private lap dance. You were so fucked up you don't even remember it. You were, oh, blah, 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 blah. you took the twenty and you fucking left. You're like, it's true. I really do love you a lot, you know? It's too bad. Love you a lot. You're a great poet. But it wasn't the time yet anyway. And, you, and that guy pimped you out. I know you saw me laughing at you. I don't go to pussy. I ain't no pussy. I'm a soter, not a fucking soteria. You don't disrespect me. I didn't disrespect you. Ever. And Zero Michael's dead. He's been dead a long time. Whatever left the clips was blood in, blood out. Because God controls me in ways I don't understand. And I saw him die. And then the Holy Spirit just kind of take over him. And he brought his soul to hell. Because he is a fucking devil. No matter how much I tried to sit there and convince him he wasn't. He could never accept Jesus in his heart. He's a devil. Just like he said over and over again. You know how many times I sat there and cried for that guy and laid over him, over him again that he's an angel, he's an angel, he's an angel. So I thought I saw him doing good works, but he wasn't doing good works. He's what he said he was, a devil. Not a good one. One that steals people's destiny. He tricked a lot of people. 
He's a faggot. Like for real faggot though. He's a pussy. He left the crypts to go into the Freemasons. And then his anointing was stripped from him and he got scared. I saw the fear in him. It took over his entire body. It's like, well, that's not the zero that I remember. Yeah. He had a lot of pain and everything, but hey, sometimes Satan's are Satan's. No matter how much you try to save him. I sacrificed a whole year of my life for that guy. But it wasn't in vain, though. It wasn't in vain. Because I stopped crying about him a long time ago. But Sierra, I always thought about you. I prayed for you and held you up and all this other type of stuff. And you have no idea. And there's a lot of women that are like that that I met on the road. I think I just... Pff, forgot you. It's funny. I never forget something I love. It's just stupid. It's dumb. <laughs> it was all you who left me, remember? Is that not true? I guess it is. All I asked for was someone to hold on to me. Oh my God. Is that so much of a request? Y'all held on to me in your hearts, and your hearts, and your minds, or whatever. But I meant, like, you know, physically kind of hold on to me. And, I mean, not, 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 like, hold on to me and say, I need water. But hold on to me and take me home. And let me be able to start working for you and stuff. I'm a doctor, for God's sake. I was on the streets. All he could have did was be like, hey, come home with us. Y'all said you're my soulmates. We married on the streets. Why didn't you say come home with us? I've been like, look, no problem. I'll, I'll go work as a doctor. And just give me a little while to get my feet straight. And then I'll just um, take care of you. You don't have to work anymore in your entire life. I'll start charging for how much I'm really worth. And at the same time, I'll do raps and rhymes. And I'll call up my friends on my phone. Say I found her. And they'll come pick me up. Guy will tell me the number. I'll just start dialing something. And then poop, they pop up. And you know, job's done, man. I found a woman that could actually love me. <clears throat> that could happen with any one of y'all. But y'all had something. Something. Every one of y'all, something to disrespect me. Worst one was Teresa. She's crying now. Because she actually hears me. Teresa sat there and wanted cocaine. Said so many things to me. Received my spirit. took a crown pulled me aside asked for cocaine I went out I wasn't even gone that long and then she went and found another guy and fucked him instead didn't you cause she was horny and she wanted drugs. But she didn't want me. She didn't want me. She wanted what I could make her feel and give. But she didn't care about me. Not really. She wanted blow. If I would have got the blow. I would have, she would, I would have fucked her in the bathroom. I said, look, we got some blows, let's go to the bathroom, I'm gonna fuck you right here. I'm gonna consummate our marriage. And she would have said, yeah, okay. But no, she went with some other guy.
You know how much that fucking infuriates me? That she decided to fuck Satan instead of a Christian? God, what an evil woman she was. I know evil when I see it. Evil would hurt me. But all women are like that. Every one of y'all. Every one of y'all evil bitches. In some way. Every one of y'all. Y'all are so disgusting, man. When I say pussy hell, I mean real. I'm not joking around. Every one of y'all, every one of y'all, it's so fucking endless. Montana, how much is it? It's like he says, it's like the depths of the deepest ocean. He's talking as Poseidon. Filled with shit of the bog and from the eternal stench. It's like he's like, and come of men. <laughs> <laughs> Mixed with some salt and pepper and hot sauce. <laughs> it roasted on Tom's dick. <laughs> with spices <laughs> that are transcendent. <laughs> And squirting orgasmic cum. <laughs> that if you step into it, <laughs> will deliver you to hell for real. <laughs> it spread to the entire group. <laughs> It's like, Dad, I can do it. <laughs> it's okay. We're in demon land. I'm the only son of my favorite that can endure this amount of disgustingness. <laughs> Besides your actual son. <laughs> He's like, I have a, I'm a bubble boy. <laughs> Yes, father, you were a bubble boy when you were a boy, and you did that bubble boy stuff just so I could have this bubble suit whenever I need to wear it <laughs> for such situations as this. This is nothing can to make my bubble, <laughs> and you spread the bubble to everybody, your actual kids, so they were all protected. <laughs> Maria's got her bubble, Jacob's got his bubble. And just because you're nice, you extend the bubble uh, over to Mr. Demon. <laughs> He's like, wow, it's nice to live in a bubble. <laughs> I wish I had <laughs> chronic asthma when I was a kid. <laughs> so I could have been a bubble boy. <laughs> but I could do it by kerosene for my dad. <laughs> and the hops is like, I want a bubble. <laughs> so you get a bubble. All my children get bubbles. <laughs> so 
Tony Hawk is like, Skeeter Bubble, bitch. <laughs> It was like skater bubble 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 biatch. Bubble, 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 biatch. <laughs> Skater, bubble, 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 biatch. <laughs> <laughs> like, <wow. laughs> the total inflection, the intent, <laughs> the warning. <laughs> Transcendental one puck. Wonder why we call you biatch meaning. It's just it's just so so profound. You need to go off your meds, man. You're doing this on your meds. What the fuck are you gonna do when you're off your meds? We need to fight this fuck shit out. What goes? Get your bubble out my well. It's your bubble bitches, yeah. You well bitches in the bubble bitches, yeah. So bubble bitches. Did she burst our bubble? <laughs> Did she rape your bubble? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did she grow a spiritual bubble dick? <laughs> rape our bubble? <laughs> if she does, then that means she probably doesn't belong in the group. <laughs> and she's disrespected you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, no, 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 you can't do that now. <laughs> I know what my intentions are. <laughs> I want him to fuck me, okay? <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> I know what, I know what he, I want him to fuck me, all right? <laughs> Blue fire off a block. <laughs> make me calm, make me scream. I don't give a fuck shit. I want the dick in my pussy. <laughs> He's got such self control. It's ridiculous. I can't believe this shit. This self control this guy has. He really is a virgin. My God. He lives in a state of orgasmic glee. And if he fucks me, he's really going to not be the first of the 144,000, but lays it down. But it's only my pussy that'll do it. He's laying down his martyrship. Yeah, see, now you got to the truth, baby. Give my cross. She's like, oh shit. I didn't get the significance of what he's sacrificing for me in actuality. 
I'm leaning down my martyr shit for you. I could have done with Mackenzie or any of my soulmates. But I chose you. I, I didn't choose any of them. They chose me. Which is fine. Because <coughs> I was lonely and desperate. And I needed someone to love me. They love me. I love them too. And I could have drove down. Got the keys off over here. And just hanged around downtown. And I would have met some of them. They're looking for me everywhere over there. Especially Teresa. She's really torn up about what she actually did. She's lying, though. She doesn't want to hurt me. It's kind of sweet, but I don't like lies. I know what she did. She fucked another guy. At her house. Instead of me. And she's so sorry. Because God actually revealed to her what she did. She caught AIDS. She already had it. She had a miscarried child. She aborted some too. She's so beautiful. I loved her. But sometimes you gotta clean out these, man. Let them see themselves for who they really are. No matter what they look on the outside, it was on the inside that counts. She may have put me as the king in her heart. But she disrespected me. So terribly. And she keeps saying, I love you more than any of them. That's just not true. She disrespected me when she heard me praying for her. She disrespected me. She did it because she felt unworthy because she fucked another guy. And she didn't feel orgasm at all. She felt the spirit of suicide just overtake her life. And she knew what she did. She killed me. And so she died too. On the inside, her feelings. She earned what she got. Suicidal ideation, mental illness, pain. Oh man, she got it all. Boom, right there. And she couldn't move and do anything. She really, really took her life. The Holy Ghost made her feel everything for taking my life. Everything. Everything. It's like screaming inside of her mind of the pain that she did and put inside of my brain. She hates herself. Like, really hates herself. So much so that she's almost slipping the grass of God himself to be able to fucking really kill herself. I say, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you did it. I want you to know what actually happened to. I came back. I looked around for you everywhere. I came back to that place so many times for each one of y'all. The knock knock bar. The gas station. I looked and looked and looked and looked for you. I was like, God damn it. I guess they don't really love me. That fucked me up so bad.
I got raped actually in the streets. I actually got raped by a person. And it was Tom. And all the rest of those motherfuckers too, like NF, EMI. It's a whole slew of them. Tadashi, Logic. The gold boy that Nikki Cop rapped with in the movie. Benajah. All the people that Nova touched, whether male or female, in her entire fucking existence. She was the worst one. That one hurt the worst. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm trying to turn on my own best friends against me. Wow. That was terrible. Oh my god, that was terrible. Montana got so mad at that. Oh my god. That you try to turn my best friends against me. Like, really? Oh my god. God, they got so pissed off at that. Marshall Mallard pissed. He got, oof. He disappeared. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he just did. He's preparing something. And then, um, of course, uh, Kevin Gates really had been dealing with some things lately. <laughs> and the table's really pissed. At you, Nova. They got like so many special fucking things prepared to torture you. And you're looking at them right now. Are you scared? I know you're sorry. Now look over here at me. What do I have prepared for you? Nothing. Right. I don't blame you at all. I can't you blameless. You were lied to so bad. Not by my friends. God, they would never do that to hurt me. But that guy, Tom. I kept telling you and telling you and telling you and telling you and you didn't believe me. But the pain that he kept feeling was what he was earning. Pain doesn't produce power. That's fucking ridiculous and stupid. He earned all his pain. He earned his disorders by lying to you about saying shit to make you fuck him. Like, actually, fuck him. and think I wanted to share you with him or have him be a surrogate or what the fuck ever. Oh my God. I hate that guy so much and you should too. Like more than me. Like a lot more than me. And Nikki, you should hate that NF motherfucker way more than she. And you should all hate the EMI motherfucker way more than even the NF motherfucker. It should drive you insane how much you hate them. Don't worry. And Pastor Chris, too, by the way. (coughs) 
You didn't know this, Lauren, but Pastor Chris fucked you when you were a baby, too. Because he doesn't agree with me. He may have told you to just go. He may have told his wife to just go, but he hates me. Because he thinks I'm wrong for taking away his wife, but she was never, she was never his. Take away his daughter, but they never his, and his other daughters or whatever. All the daughters are mine. The whole ministry is mine. The whole fucking women in the ministry are mine. Just women, though. Not women with men's minds. And not men that oppose me. But the women that oppose me, I forgive if they have a woman mind. It's gonna be so specific nowadays, you know? But the men with the women's, the men with, with, with the women's mind are rebuked to hell and go to hell because they're faggots. And the men with the men's mind that are generally repentant still go to hell for opposing me. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now the, court, the Lord sell, set it out. I don't give a fuck. That church pissed me the fuck off. It wasn't relevant and it wasn't home. It was a trap. And it almost sprang. That's how good that trap was laid. Jonathan Hagee's in heaven, of course. But this dude was a perversion of Hagee's ministry. Oh my God. They almost want me to judge him guilty. <laughs> I mean, how could you like put an angel in heaven in hell? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I can only hear him talk. I heard him talk the whole time, man. I did everything more I remember. Like the day that he said, go kneel and pray. And he talked about Jonathan Hagee, how he did it, but I already did it and knelt because Hagee told me through the Holy Ghost to go kneel and pray. I did everything in that place to the Holy Ghost. I do everything to add. The Holy Ghost asked me to do something or moves my heart to move and do something. That's usually how he does it. He doesn't actually just say to do something. What the Holy Spirit usually does to speak to me is he moves my heart to express my service to him. He never had to slay me in the spirit. He just had me kneel. He said, kneel to express your love to me. I would do anything for the Holy Spirit. I love the Holy Spirit. If he said, fly, I will. And I knew it was the Holy Spirit, I'd jump off a building and fly. If I knew it was the Holy Spirit. But I know when it's the Holy Spirit, I know when it's not the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit asked me to do something and it has pain associated with it. You know? And then, I, and then I'm like, that's not the Holy Spirit. That's the devil trying to mimic the Holy Spirit. And the scripture says, test not the Lord thy God. Tempt not the Lord thy God. Because the devil will tempt him in the same way, every way. He just knows the same way, you know? Out of mouth and death, not, 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 but like, it's the same three things. Sometimes he throws them out a whole bunch. There's always the same three answers. You know? Tempt not the Lord thy God. Man shall not. Um, man shall live by everything. By uh, the uh, man shall live by the breath of God alone, or whatever. And the other ones too. God, I don't want to think about it right now. But it's the same three things. Is what I'm saying. I could look them up if I really want to. But I was kind of trying to not preach, but describe how much I love Noah. And everyone that pops into my mind at certain times, you know, whatever. I love that girl, too. I forgot her name. <laughs> she's the one that met the Mercedes. I mean, I give her a crown, too. And she's like, go get some water. You need some water. She's so sweet. <laughs> I told her, man, she was, she was with the Latin King. And I said, man, if I, I said, told her, man, if I was with you, I would have married you, like, right away. Duh. <laughs> I said to her, she's so touched. <laughs> and then. And we like pretty much made love, like <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I started having visions of me fucking them in the car and stuff like that, and like driving around everywhere, just like making love to them. <laughs> Choose the both of them. They were so hot. 
I was like, God, I didn't even touch myself. I just started having visions of sex with them, like, like everywhere. It's like... <laughs> I really did, though. This was so real. It's like, wow, she's so hot. God, I want to give her babies and make love to her forever. That pussy's so good. It's like, damn, shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's like, it's okay. <laughs> we think a lot about you as well. <laughs> it's kind of a. We just can't stop watching the videos with you and. <laughs> you need some water. <laughs> You need the water of my pussy juice. You did it. You know you do. <laughs> Go do some of the things you do. <laughs> Just look up the word Mercedes. <laughs>